the LG V20 is it here and today I've been the video by Virgin Mobile so I'm on first wireless.com here and it says here Sprint pulls Virgin Mobile from Walmart so if you guys are looking to get Virgin Mobile phones from Walmart you guys will no longer be able to do so as Sprint has pulled Virgin Mobile from Walmart so um yeah so a little, little, little less check this out and it says here, Sprint has pulled its Virgin Mobile prepaid brand from Walmart stores in an email to First Wireless. Sprint said, quote, Walmart has been a great sales channel. Virgin Mobile USA continues to elevate its sales d d distribution outlets and at this time has made the decision to exit our retailer agreement with Walmart. Consumers can still purchase Virgin Mobile products on Virgin Mobile's website. So I guess the only way now to get Virgin Mobile phones or anything is through their website now. Best Buy might sell, Best Buy might still sell Virgin Mobile phones. They might sell some. I'm not really sure. Um, it says Virgin Mobile was a was Virgin Mobile was in about 50 percent of Walmart's according to Sprint. Analyst Jeff Moore with Wave 7 Research first noticed the disappearance of Virgin Mobile from Walmart as the researchers at Best in Vienna. Quote, Virgin, Virgin was in Best Buy until April and Mayor stores until a few months ago said more. Oh, so you can't even get Virgin Mobile from, uh, from Best Buy anymore? What? Wow. I did not know. I thought, I thought Virgin Mobile would still be available at Best Buy, but apparently not. So the only way to get Virgin Mobile products is on Virgin Mobile website. Okay. Uh, the Virgin Mobile prepaid brand was also sold through Target stores, but Sprint pulled all of its brands out of Target. We exited Target in August 2018 due to choice, said this Brent spokesperson. So you can't get Virgin Mobile in any store. You can't. So the only way they get Virgin Mobile, like I said, is through the website. That's only way they get phones and all uh, stuff like that. I want to. I don't think. I don't. You. I don't know if you, if you build. I don't know if you can get phone cards in stores now, or you, I don't know. Probably not. I'll see why you couldn't. Uh, Sprint bought Virgin Mobile back. Sprint bought Virgin Mobile in 2009 for 483 million. The Virgin Mobile brand is licensed from the Virgin Group, founded by the UK billionaire Sir Rich, Sir Richard Bronson. The brand previously had a steady retail presence in Radio Shack stores until 2017, when nearly all those stores closed. Moore also n noted that the Sprint branded prepaid service Sprint Ford was shattered this fall with all Sprint Ford customers moved to Boost Mobile. So, I mean the only the only Sprint prepaid brand that's doing anything good is Boost Mobile. Because a lot of people are going to Boost Mobile, people are getting Boost Mobile phones and stuff like that. So, Virgin Mobile's fallen off and the, the, the Sprint's prepaid Sprint's prepaid brand, Sprint prepaid, Sprint forward, Sprint forward that is, that is also disappeared so if you guys were on Sprint forward, you guys are not on Boost Mobile now, so yeah, um it says, it says, it, says, it appears that Sprint is consolidating its prepaid businesses under the Boost brand which is still sold at Walmart stores. So y'all so y'all guys can still get Boost Mobile phones at Walmart, of course, but not Virgin Mobile phones. It says, but it's interesting time on Sprint's part to pull the Virgin Mobile brand out of Walmart, given that the merger of Sprint with T-Mobile is in its final stages. It would seem logical for the parties to keep their hand to hit to. to it would seem logical for the parties to keep their head to keep their heads down. The last hurdle for Sprint and T-Mobile to clear is the lawsuit filed by the attorneys generals of several states. That trial is set to begin on December 9th, but T-Mobile has 
been chipping away at the lawsuit, convincing the convincing three states so far to drop out of the suit in exchange for various promises. So basically, what that so I, I mean. Uh, like I said, I'm not surprised that Sprint is pulling Verge Mobile from Walmart. I'm not, I'm not surprised because who the fuck, who the fuck, who the fuck has Verge Mobile no more? Who the fuck has Verge Mobile? Um, you know, if if people are people are if, if people are going to use Sprint on prepaid side, they they go to Boost Mobile because Boost Mobile is still alive and kicking. Uh, they have pretty decent plans. They have they have good friends there at Boost Mobile. So a lot of people are going to Boost Mobile. If you guys are want, if you guys want to. Try the Sprint prepaid brand. If you guys want, if you guys want to try a Sprint prepaid brand, Boost Mobile is the way to go. Cause they are popular, they're successful, and yeah, they um yeah they get phones and shit, and they um and so and Verge Mobile hasn't gotten any phones since I think the last time Verge Mobile got any new phones was the iPhone 11. That's the last time that Verge Mobile got any phones. So let's go check out Walmart's website. and see if there's any um. There's more friends there, or should they, if they all disappear. So we're about to go to Walmart here. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, uh, they said that they, that, that they pulled the mobile from Walmart. I wonder if you can still get them on their website. We're about to find out out here. So I'm on Walmart's website here. Type in Virgin Mobile. You see, that's the beginning thing. They might still have friends and shit up here, but uh, you probably, you probably, you, you, they might still have friends up here for you guys to check out on Walmart's website, but you guys can't get them from the uh, from the store itself. So they got phone cards up here. They got phone cards up here. Uh, they got the Total Wireless. Uh, only phone I see up there is the iPhone 7. Up there, that's only phone. That's only version of phone I see up there is the iPhone 7. But other than that, I don't see any. Nope. That's the only phone I see up there is the iPhone 7, which is an old phone, which is like two years old now. But yeah, that's kind of interesting. You know, you can't, uh, you know, of course, you, uh, I'm not surprised either because, you know, who the fuck's going to Verge Mobile for fucking cell phone service anyway? Uh, Verge Mobile hasn't really done anything. Get me out of here. Let's try Best Buy and see what they get. See if they got any words more friends up there. Let's see. Yeah, cause yeah, and that yeah, cause now you can't get Verge Mobile for friends at Walmart now. Target since last year and Best Buy since like early this year. So we'll see. So this is very interesting, you know. Um, but like, I'm 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 not surprised. So who the fuck is going to version mobile for, for fucking phone service? If you guys want to get phone service on Sprint prepaid brands, go to Boost Mobile and Boost Mobile will uh, have you covered. Um. So let's see what they got. They might, they might have friends up here. Right, we'll see. So the only way to get, the only way is to get Verge Mobile now is through the website. Uh, they have failed at a lot of things. They failed at the iPhone only thing. If you guys remember that a few years ago, like in what 2017, Verge Mobile relaunched itself as the only uh, as an all iPhone carrier, but that failed quick. Um. So you got. Oh, you had the J7 here. The J7. Is 
just don't let me pay you. Just don't let me pay you, sir. Yeah, the only thing I see is the uh, J7. That's the only thing Verge Mobile has on here on, on Best Buy's website. It's the Gashi J7 refund, which is 218. So yeah, I mean, I'm not surprised, but I just find it interesting. But you know, you know, I just find it interesting. I'm sure some of you guys do as well. I'm curious that who still has Verge Mobile right now? Who still has Verge Mobile? Who, who, who still has Verge Mobile? I, I'm curious to know. Cause like they they have like no. They like no, like they haven't, they haven't had a new fan since the, I think the iPhone 11. They get that in September. Uh, their plans are, and I guess they're comparable with Boost plans, but Boost Mobile offers more with their plans. Verge Mobile, you have to pay X for Hotspot, and the Hotspot add-on is ridiculous. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm. I'm in my uh, opinion, I think Res Mobile is going to die. Because I think Res Mobile is going to die because if people are not going to the services, then there's no point of Res Mobile to be around anymore. There's no point. I mean, there's no point of Res Mobile to be around anymore. Uh, of course, you have Res Mobile around the world. You got Res Mobile Canada, Res Mobile UK, and all that stuff. Res Mobile Australia and stuff like that. But here in the U.S., Verge Mobile, eh, it really hasn't done much in a while. It, it, um, it really hasn't done much. It tried to be an, an only, it tried to be an all iPhone carrier, but that did not work out too well. It did not work out too well, and they got rid of that shit. Um, they got rid of that shit. What last year? Maybe I think early this year or late last year that they, um, that they stopped doing the whole iPhone thing. So I mean, Verge Mobile. I I I I I think it's gonna die. I think it's gonna die because no one's not going to Verge Mobile. If people are, or people are wanting to, are if people are, if people want to have prepaid service on Sprint, they are gonna be Mobile. Because Boost Mobile, they have the phones, they have the plans, and they have features that people want, like Hotspot and stuff like that. And Boost Mobile has perks. So, you know. So I mean, who the fuck? I, I don't know who still has Verge Mobile to this day, but I know people. I'm, I'm sure people still have Verge Mobile. So yeah, I think the Verge Mobile plans are like what thirty five about thirty five dollars for five gigs and like forty five dollars for uh, ten gigs or something like that. Yeah, Verge Mobile, Verge Mobile they, uh, they do have phones on there. Of course they do. They got like the iPhone 11 and stuff like that. But I'm surprised they don't have the Coupad Legacy or the LG Tribute Royal. Boost Mobile both have Boost Mobile. Boost Mobile has both of those phones. And Verge Mobile don't have those phones. I'm surprised Verge Mobile don't have the Coupad Legacy. I thought they would get that phone. No, so they got these ones here. They got the uh, Galaxy A10e, the iPhone 11, stuff like that. The Style 5, the G7 Play, Copad Snap, Style 4, Galaxy S10e, Meta E5, and iPhone 10s Max there. So they don't have, like, you know, I wonder if they'll get the Galaxy S11. I wonder if they'll get that phone. On their plans, like I said, they're they're comparable to Boost Mobile. They're comparable. Uh, they're five dollars for what five gigs or something or something like that. Okay, they are right here. Uh, they um they, um they did launch these plans like early this year, I believe. 
Uh, so the first uh, for thirty five dollars a month on version, they get five gigs, forty five dollars, ten gigs, and sixty dollars unlimited. Um, but you don't, but you don't get hotspot included. You know. Uh, you you don't get hotspot included with these plans. You do have to uh get an add-on for hotspot for Virgin Mobile, which is ridiculous. Like five dollars for like. One gig, I think ten dollars for two gig was a hot spot. Uh, but but boost but boost mobile they offer hot spot included in their plan, so you don't have to pay extra for hot spot and boost. It's included in your plan. Um, so you know, uh, I you know, like I said, Virgin mobile is gonna die, dude. They they're gonna die. Virgin Mobile is gonna die because no one's not gonna no one's not gonna go to their services. People are are, are gonna go elsewhere like Beast Mobile, Metro, Bad Team Mobile, Cricket Wireless, and stuff like that. But Virgin Mobile, I mean, and when because you know when Beast Mobile gets a phone, Virgin Mobile might get the same phone power like a few months later. They they they've always been like that. For uh, for I got an example for you guys about that. Uh, Boost Mobile they got this G Styler back in May of 2015. Virgin Mobile Virgin Mobile did not get the G Styler until November of 2015. So Virgin Mobile got the Stylo six months after Boost Mobile got it. Cause you know sometimes you know but when if it, when it's like a Galaxy phone or an iPhone. Red Mobile will get it that same day, like Beast Mobile and Cricket Wireless and, and stuff like that. But if it's like the other phone, like the CoolPad Legacy or the LG Tribute Royal, for an example, Red Mobile has not, not has not gotten those phones yet, which is surprising. Which is surprising because the CoolPad Legacy, the CoolPad Legacy has been out for like months now, and Red Mobile does not have it. Which I don't know if they're going. I don't know if they were expecting to get the phone or not. I think the Coolpad Legacy is exclusive to Boost Mobile and Metro Bad Team Mobile. I think I thought that Verge Mobile would get that phone too. I thought they was because I Boost Mobile I thought Verge Mobile would get the Coolpad Legacy because uh because Boost Mobile got it. That's the only reason why I thought Verge Mobile could get that phone. Then the Tribute Warrior, which is a new phone for Boost Mobile, which recently got released in like the last week and a half or so. Um. You know they don't have that phone either, which I think they will get that phone eventually. It don't matter if they get that phone or not, because it's not like it's not like people are going to go to Verge Mobile to get that phone anyway. If people will, if people wants to trip it real, they 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 can go to Beast Mobile and get it if they want that phone. It, it doesn't matter, because who the fuck still has Verge Mobile in 2019? Verge Mobile. Is Verge Mobile is like losing customers and so people are switching carriers and shit. Their plans are comparable to Boost Mobile, but Boost Mobile offers more with their plans anyway. So yeah, so if you guys try to go find a Verge Mobile phone in Walmart, you guys will, no, you will no longer be able to do that. If you guys go to Best Buy, no Verge Mobile phones, Target, no Verge Mobile phones. So um, you guys might as well. Switch to Beast Mobile if you guys don't want Verge Mobile right now. You might as well just switch to Beast Mobile. You might as well fuck it. You know. Um. I think Verge Mobile brand. I think it's dead here in the U.S. I think it's dead. Um. I think like I don't know who still has Verge Mobile in 2019. I don't know who, but I don't know. I think I'm. I like. I'm I like I'm not surprised either that Sprint pulled Verge Mobile from Walmart. I'm not surprised because it's not the first time that they pulled Verge Mobile from Target last year. They pulled Verge Mobile from Best Buy this year, which I did not know they did until I read this article right here. So we, we went to uh, Walmart. We went to Walmart website. We didn't see no uh, we didn't see no Verge Mobile phones. We went to Best Buy saw no Verge Mobile phones. Well, we saw the J7 refund, but. That's it, one phone, that's it, one fucking phone. 
I saw one front on Walmart's website was a Verizon Mobile iPhone 7 128 gig, and then we went to Best Buy's website and saw the Galaxy J7 Wayfinder for Verizon Mobile. One phone and like rest some more phone cards and stuff. So you might be able, you still might be able to get phone cards from the stores, but not phones and but but not phones themselves. So you'll have to order a a Verizon Mobile phone from the Verizon Mobile website if you guys are interested in that. But like I said. You're wasting your time if you get a Verizon Mobile because, like, because they don't offer hotspot. They offer hotspot, but you have to pay extra for it. You might as well get a Boost Mobile because Boost Mobile offers hotspot and have like the um, and they and they have better phones and they have more phones than uh Verizon Mobile does currently. Um, and and Boost Mobile just got the Tribute Warrior up out like a couple weeks ago. So there you go. So, uh, if you guys want to get if you guys want to get prepaid service on Sprint, go to Boost Mobile because Boost Mobile is your best bet for prepaid service with Sprint. There, um, like I said, if you guys, it, um, it, it, if you guys were on Sprint Ford, y'all guys have been migrated over to Boost. I don't know why they haven't done that with Verizon Mobile customers. I don't know why. I don't know why Sprint. I don't know why Sprint won't migrate Verizon Mobile customers to Boost. I don't know why. I don't know why, because Boost Mobile's doing well. They're getting customers. You know they have, you know, um, they have they have some decent in-store deals for people switching to Boost. You know, so I mean, you might as well just go to Boost and shit, because they offer more with their plans, including Hotspot and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, I'm not surprised that Sprint has pulled Verge Mobile from Walmart. I'm not surprised. Then I guess the next thing to do is just shut the Verizon Mobile down for good. But we'll see if that happens or not. We'll see. And I think that when this when this merger is completely uh, completed for Sprint and T-Mobile, I think they should just shut down Verizon Mobile and keep the Boost Mobile brand or whatever. I don't know. I don't know what they're gonna do with the prepaid brands when the merger is um, when the merger is uh, when the merger is completed. For Sprint and Team, I don't know. I don't know what they're gonna do with the prepaid brands. I don't know if they're gonna merge them all into one prepaid brand. I'm not really sure what's gonna happen with that. Cause you have Metro by T-Mobile on the T-Mobile side, and what's they're doing while they offer perks like Amazon Prime stuff on Metro by T-Mobile. So that's pretty cool. But it's, but it's no point of going. To, it's no point of going to Verizon. It's no point. Cause they, they don't offer no price or nothing. They don't offer nothing. At least Boost, um, they offer hotspot included in their plans. Uh, you, you can get the Boost perks thing and stuff like that. Uh, Metro by T-Mobile they offer Amazon Prime, which are uh, which are phone service with Metro. So. At least boost the metro. At least they have perks to get people in the door, respectively. Verizon Mobile does not have nothing. Verizon Mobile has nothing going for them. They have, they have no marketing, and nothing. I have not seen a Verizon Mobile. Com I have not seen a Verizon Mobile commercial in forever. It's probably like a few years. Because back then I used to see Verizon Mobile cars. I I used to see Verizon Mobile commercials all the time. But now I, I don't see now I see Metro commercials, Beast Mobile commercials, Cricket, and stuff like that. Not and not Virgin Mobile. They they haven't done nothing in a few years. They haven't done nothing. So I think Sprint should just merge uh Resident Mobile Christmas to Boost Mobile. I think they should just do it like they did with the Sprint for Christmas. They should do the same thing with Resident Mobile Christmas, merge them to Boost. You might as well, because Resident Mobile is not doing nothing. They have no perks. They have no fucking perks to get people in the door. The plans are comparable to Boost Mobile's. They're, they're, they are comparable. Um, you know, so. I, that's what I think. Be, uh, that, that's what I think Sprint should do. I think they should just merge Red Mobile customers. I think I think they should just migrate Red Mobile customers to Boost and and um and um and just call it a day. So 
Yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this long video, I know that I know that the, I know that this video is probably a long video, but if y'all guys enjoyed it, I would greatly appreciate it if y'all guys liked the video. So with that said, that's pretty much it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, guys. It really helps me out a lot. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching my video, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.